Dr. Hage Genkov, President of Swapo, President of the Republic of Namibia. One, two. One, two. We are marching. We are marching. We are marching with Swapo. We are marching, marching to victory. Thank you. We are marching. 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 Shaningwa, our Secretary General, Comrade Nedumbo Nandi Daitwa, Vice President of the Swapo Party, and the Deputy Prime Minister. We have here a special guest, and it's very, not only special guest from any other countries. But it's very interesting that we have here Ambassador of Cuba, High Commissioner of Tanzania, Ambassador of Russia, Spera, Spera, I'm coming. <laughs> and only Angola is not here. They have a visitor here, they had a bank governor. So Tanzania and Zambia, because of, you know, the change of things, UNIP is not here. But we have Tanzania, home of all liberation movements, where we started, that is the base, President Nyerere. Tanzania is here, where we started. <laughs> then we moved, Zambia could have been here. Then we are having Cuba. You saw what you said. You saw him. And you heard what you said. Then we have Russia. I always say whoever was involved in liberation struggle, somehow Soviet Union, Russian people were there to support them. Anywhere where you are fighting. Now we are asked to vote against Russia. <laughs> yeah, you got a point. So I would like you, ambassadors, to just come to be seen by people. You can say something if you want to say, hello, Viva, or just to come to be seen here. 
because they have seen the comrade from Cuba. So please, three of you come. Tanzania, Russia, and... China is here. Where is China? Oh, you are here. That's consistent. I talk about all these countries. They must come because those, it shows where we started from. How we won independence for this country. Please come, 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 come. The young people must know where we are coming from and where we are going to. When you say something, just say hello to the comrades. No, nothing. So we are a Russian ambassador. Thank you. Tanzanian High Commissioner. Cuban ambassador, who is already here. And Chinese Charlie the Chair. Thank you very much. Thank you. Then, Comrade uh, Secretary General, your office also invited the stalwarts of our struggle, some of them were not being seen. So I am very happy to just mention some of them whom I'm seeing, just to wave to you. Comrade Helmut, Angula, stand up and wait. You are short, wave to the people. <laughs> Comrade Nas, Angula, please. From my Prime Minister. Comrade, who was the other one? So, Kanana, you don't have to get up. <laughs> Martin Shali. The ones I'm seeing. Stalwarts. Bendukeni, where is she? Itana. Petrina Hengura. These are the stalwarts, and I would like to thank. Huh? Who? Jerry. Oh, but we go here with us. Always in prayer. But Jerry, 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 Jerry. Who is that? Oh, <laughs> I'm looking this side. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Comrade. So thank you, Secretary General, for having organized it this way. Aki Swapo. <laughs> Comrades, members of Central Committee, members of Political Bureau of Swapo, Comrade Heads of Wings, Organs and Structures, Comrade Regional Coordinators, Regional Governors, Comrade Members, Supporters, the Scholars, the Think Tank people. Let me just say, Comrades, the path to one success is charted through constant thought planning and action. Swapo's success is not owed to good fortune and chance. Rather, it is owed to our party's capacity and ability to constantly engage in thoughtful dialogue, meticulous planning, and concrete action. Today we, are, we are, today, we prepare to embark on yet another crucial 
and historic exercise as we continue traversing our path towards ultimate success in the second phase of our struggle, the economic emancipation of all Namibians. I therefore, it therefore gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the third Swapo Party Policy Conference, which, are, which we are holding under the theme, quote unquote, strengthening the Swapo Party for a United Congress 2022. Listen to that theme. Strengthening the Swapo Party for a United Congress 2022. I welcome His Excellency Comrade Chidineo Augusta Adei Ambassador of Cuba, who just gave us a very strong message. Welcome, brother, as they say in Spanish, Nuestra Casa Edu Casa. Is it correct? Helmut. <laughs> it, I tried. <laughs> Our home is your home. That applies to all of them. We are welcome in their homes in their hospitals, their schools, in Tanzania, in their, all the areas there. So we will be stupid and not grateful to say thank you to those who were with us when times were hard, not today. I was sitting in that security council watching triple veto by Americans, British, and, and, and France defending apartheid. Triple. One video was enough. Triple. Now we are saying we must condemn. This is the problem. And I'm glad you are here to see who was there with us. Some of you are young, of course. You don't know these things. That's why I'm going to tell you why you must know these things. Namibia and Cuba share a history, and that applies to others, as I said. I put this because he was on the speech. History of unparalleled cooperation built on the functions or foundations of the stone's principles, sacrifice, and unwavering commitment to the freedom and sovereignty of all nations in the world. Freedom and sovereignty of all nations in the world. As a Swapo Party, we remain committed to a world in which our Cuban brothers and sisters will enjoy their freedom and sovereignty without any political or economic interference whatsoever in their nation's affairs. The ancient adage, which says, with great power comes great responsibility, quote unquote, is apt as we prepare to commence our discussions around various pertinent issues that affect the political, economic, and social environment in which our party finds itself today. As a ruling party, as a governing party, owed to our successful stewardship of Namibia since independence, the responsibilities and expectations placed on us become ever greater as the demands from our people grow with the anticipation that it is only swap the party with a track record in Namibia's political freedom and governance that will be able to deliver to them the promise of economic emancipation and shared prosperity. I said only Swapo.
given its realization, coupled with our sense of social and political responsibility, it is an imperative that we must regularly come together to engage in discussions around policy since the policy environment, whether locally, regionally, or globally, is not stagnant. But like a living organism, which is in a state of constant flux, it's not static. It is therefore no surprise that we are conducting our third policy conference since independence, constantly leading from the front. Hmm? Look at here, which other groupings, I don't, say, I don't say parties, I say groupings, can bring, even this section will not be enough. Even this, now look at this, just for coming to discuss our policies. And I'm glad that the uh, stalwarts, Nahas, uh, and Helmut, what I mentioned here, Jerry, are all here, Mpendukeni, are all here. So that you can shame those who are wishing that Swapo is apparently divided, Swapo is collapsing. Shame on them, comrades. That's why I call you to stand up. We are constantly leading from front and setting the trend. We will be the first to admit that the task of governing Namibia has not been plain sailing. But contrary to what any detractors may want us to betray, on our 32nd year journey, Swapo has achieved a significant amount of success. This country of today and Swapo that I, after 27 years, so are miles apart, worlds apart. Somebody says, apartheid regime is building houses. I cannot forget that one. Which houses? Which houses? Some even say colonialism was better. Go back to colonialism then. You have freedom to express yourself like that. To say that. But not to accept what has been achieved after independence. Of course, opposition has the right to see everything is wrong. But not members of SWAPO. We have made great strides. We are also aware, I said already, the fact that we don't look face physical enemy on the battlefield makes the process of fighting the second phase of the struggle ever challenging. This is the enemy during the world, Charlie, Martin, Charlie. You saw your enemy there, hiding there. You, are, you know it's there, you can go and attack. But today's enemy is difficult. You cannot identify it. Maybe among us, you cannot tell. Smile with me, ah. So it's very difficult. That's why we're bringing the intelligence back. So Sari is sitting there. <laughs> However, it is a challenge that we accept and a challenge that we know we shall overcome. It will take hard work, commitment, and vision, but we are confident that given our intellectual and physical capacity, we will be able to deliver to our people, our sovereigns. For those who are waiting for Swapo to fail, for those who are praying day and night for Swapo to fail, to all the detractors who remain obsessed about Swapo internal business, internal business of Swapo. Internal. Because we are open, we disagree, we talk. Those who are concerned, obsessed about Swapo's internal business. All I can say to you, not you, to those ones. <laughs> All I can say to you is that it is going to be a long and odious 
wait for you. It will be long wait to see Swapo failing. As you can see by the attendance here today, where we are represented by veterans of liberation struggle, stalwarts that I already mentioned, women and youth from north and south and west and east. Only Swapo can boast about that. They have so called Central Committee or so on. One tribe, one tribe. And they throw one person in as a president these days. To, to, to suck the... <laughs> okay. I didn't say anything while you laughing. It's a fact that we must know as we are sitting here, comrades. We come from all parts of this country. All tribes, races. Who else can claim that? Which other party can claim that? Just for a conference... Look at the gathering here, from all parts of the country. SC and your staff, thank you very much for this organization. We are the only party representing true, true, true Namibians. As we are we're the only ones to fight, sacrifice, to, to free all Namibians. I previously emphasized that as a party and as a government, we need to shift into a new gear for change. Our people expect positive socio-economic change, and we must be at the forefront to lead that change. We must be at the forefront to lead that change. And we are not, we are not as they are saying, living in the past. If you look at Swapo agenda as contained in Harambe and so on, we are not talking about the past, we are not talking about struggle, we are talking about false industrial revolution. Let's come and read it. I have set up committees in that regard, waiting, reporting to me. So we are living in the past. But you cannot forget the past where you come from, when your past is glorious. Glorious past cannot be forgotten. If you have a bad past, Collaborating with the worst, you want to forget that. And you want us to join you. No. Our past is glorious. People sacrifice their lives to free this country. We're not going to forget them. Because you were having a bad history. You want to forget it, of course. If a glorious history, you don't forget it. But you don't get stuck there. You must know where you were. As President Yoma is saying, where you are, where you were, where you are, where you are going. That's the only way you can create a path for the future. You cannot forget the past, but don't get stuck in the past. Then you are here today. You know housing is a problem. You know youth animals are a problem. You know that. Move on, create jobs, but don't get stuck in anything. In this regard, I'm pleased to note that our agenda over the next few days is guided by our need to deliver tangible outcomes aimed at strengthening our socio-economic architecture. We are all aware that currently the world finds itself at a state of heightened geopolitical tensions, which we have even led, which have even led to some political scholars taking a new world order, saying the new world order is developing. Thus, we can all ill afford to think within a vacuum, but must ensure that the policy decisions we make, we may take into, decisions we may take into consideration the realities of today and the anticipated realities of future. Let's not sleep in the past. Our decisions that we take must take into consideration realities of today and the anticipated realities of future. Even as I speak today, 
there is a conflict in Ukraine affecting global supplies of food and services. This means we must become self-reliant. Food. Why must we depend on food from somewhere? Those are realities. And necessity is the mother of invention. There is a problem. Let's invent now. Why must we starve while we have big land like this? So that's why we have problems. We must provide solutions. As I, as I now turn specifically to our program, there are a number of interesting presentations that I look forward to over the next two days. I must also state that we will have a diverse and talented group of cutters presenting these important issues. I'm glad that we will be commencing matters with a focus on our youth, talking about youth em empowerment and participation as well as youth employment. However, we, he, however here I must state that one's eligibility for empowerment or appointment cannot be based solely on one's age or gender, but must be determined by one's attitude, appetite for hard work, and ability to deliver. Because as I said at the opening of Swapo Party Youth League on Central Committee in April this year, and I'm quoting myself now, attainment of economic emancipation, which in turn will alleviate the burden of high unemployment, cannot be achieved through mere rhetoric, but only through meticulous planning, effective strategy, and constant hard work, unquote. With this in mind, we need to also inculcate in our young fathers a strong appetite and desire for hard work so that indeed the future of this country will be determined by high caliber young people. Future is yours, young people. We are going. Future is yours. Take it, but don't misuse it. Comrades, an important component of charting one's path to success lies in the ability to regularly consult the map of your journey and ensure that you are still on the right track. I therefore look forward to the presentation of the report of the implementation of the Swapo Party Election Manifesto, which is our map towards achieving our aspirations as a party and a country. In terms of advancing economic development, we have engaged in a number of activities on the international front in the interest of presenting investment opportunities in Namibia and promoting investment in specific sectors with the aim to address unemployment and promote a sustainable economic growth. I am aware that the presentations on land and natural resources will highlight some of these important areas such as green hydrogen, oil, agricultural land, and water. Comrade Helmut, you didn't tell me we have oil. Why? Why are you hiding it? These are just few interesting discussions we will be having during this first day, but I will provide more comments on our agenda during my closing statement. Comrades, over the past seven years, Swapa has governed Namibia in the midst of two global crises the financial crisis and the health crisis. While facing all these headwinds, we have steadied the ship and never lost sight of our objectives. Now, having recently emerged from the worst of the COVID pandemic, we must once again prepare to deliver. That is why we are here. That is why Ultimate, that is our ultimate 
priority to discuss how we will deliver the promise of prosperity to the sovereigns who have given us the mandate to govern. In this regard, comrades should feel free to present their views and share their ideas. It is therefore very encouraging to see a full house here that will participate in these discussions. The expectations of this conference are very clear. We are once again called upon to set the benchmarks for advancing our governance and social economic architecture. We are once again called to lead from the front and strengthen our capacity. We are once again called to take action to advance our economic struggle. It is now time for us to demonstrate how and when we will deliver. With well, these words, it gives me great honor to declare the third swap of party policy conference officially open. I wish all participants a successful and fruitful conference. Swabo! Swabo! I didn't hear you. You are many, but the voices are so useless. Swabo! Swabo! Now! Yeah, I see. I didn't mention the young man there. Charles, huh? Your name, your name, your name is Charles. <laughs> One, two. Officially declare this. What is it? Third policy conference officially open. <laughs> And I think you have seen that for yourselves. Comrade President, we thank you very much for eloquently speaking and explaining issues to the core. Thank you very much, Comrade President, for touching the hearts not only the hearts of those who are listening at us from a distance, but you have touched the hearts inside the house. Thank you very much, Comrade President, for putting our leaders together.
Thank you very much, Comrade Com President. You see? Thank you very much, Comrade President. Swapo is here to stay. No power, not this time, will be able to trample on the head of Swapo. We are a force to be reckoned with. Thank you very much, Mr. President. You have not only touched the political arena, you touched the social economic issues within our country and globally. Thank you very much, Comrade President. <laughs> Comrade President, you are an archive of our political ideology. Thank you for giving the information to our youth and our Swapo Party Youth League out there to know where we came from, who was there for us when we needed them the most. Thank you very much, Comrade President. Thank you very much, Comrade President, for the leadership. And thank you very much, Comrade President, for having said, youth, listen carefully, the future is yours. That is very important. And thank you very much, Comrade President, for cautioning them that when given the authority at hand, they should not misuse it and make us to suffer by the end of the day. Thank you very much, Comrade President. Having thanked the President on behalf of all of us, I should now go to the next stage where I should thank all of you, my dear comrades for coming, those of you who will not be part and parcel of the deliberations of the next session, thanking the Swapo party who came to support the opening session, thanking their excellencies, ambassadors, our friends, indeed, who were there when we needed shelter, when we needed food, when we needed weaponry, when we needed morale, when we needed everything that made us to return back and to attain our independence. Thank you. Having said that, the President has called on all of us, look at the theme of this policy conference. We are done. And I would like now to give the following instructions, except the Vice President, the President, of the country and the Prime Minister, those ones will not be given instructions, but the rest will be given instructions. <laughs> From here, I will only give you, those of you who will participate, I will give you 20 minutes to sort out your issues. That is why, for the participants. Either you go back to whatever in your rooms to drop some other items, cell phones will not be allowed. Cell phones and laptops and all these type of things 
have to be left there. Only few people who will be allowed to have those gadgets. Our distinguished invited guests, the ambassadors and members of Swapo Party who just came to support, will be also afforded now the time to leave respectfully. But we have the invited guests that should to be here with us full time up to the last day, and they know themselves. Comrade General Deitwa, we forgot to acknowledge you, man. I saw you somewhere here. Where are you, General? General Deitwa. Yeah. Very good. Very good, General. You are sitting there. You are supposed to be closer here. <laughs> so, Comrade President, I think we have now to release our members because we are going to rearrange the seatings. Rearrange the seatings and all these type of things. Those of you who will come in as delegates will be scrutinized nicely there at the, at the police security there. And uh, I thank also the Dilimani Cultural Troop for keeping the house alive. Thank you very much, Dilimani. Allow first your, their excellencies to want to, to, want to, to, to leave the, the house the ambassadors, the veterans, and then ourselves. Please, Your Excellency, I would like now to call on you to also just uh, uh, leave, and then uh, the other people will follow. Thank you very much, members of the media, for coming. Thank you very much.